Hello and welcome back to the channel and we're having another look at this little 4 wheel battery electric loco that my son and I have been building and since the last video we've done quite a lot haven't we? Yeah. We're basically almost finished. Um, so um, as you can see we've fitted all the 3D printed parts haven't we? Yeah we've done the um, done a control panel, you did the you did all the painting. Things on. Buffers on. Um, Wired up. Yeah so, so just a second so I've got yellow paint where it shouldn't be. Look, we need to clean that off. Uh, we didn't dry brush in the end, um, did we? We decided no. we'd leave it. We're still in two <coughs> minds about weathering as well, aren't we? Yeah, um, I think we might weather, I don't know. Yeah, so we think what we're going to do is we still haven't found a driver, so we've still not fitted a seat. No. So we need to find a driver and fit the seat, and then once we've done that, we might think again about whether we want to weather it or not. Um, so we're still having a think about that. I did manage to do all the wiring, however. So if we pull this out, um, it's... <laughs> It's a tight fit, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> it's a bit like a jack-in-the-box. You try and take the lid off and it pops everywhere. Um, but you can see i got... Um, so there's a LiPo battery, um, motor, few inline fuse. Uh, behind the white paper is a, a loco remote. Um, it's all nicely wired up as well as I could package it in. Um, it's very tight. You have to make sure the wires are all in the right place so that when you slide this in, it goes down. I actually I wired it up with a, bit, with a few more plugs and things so that in theory... I could take bits and pieces out and um, then found that I couldn't actually get the lid on properly. So I ended up shortening a lot of the wires, removing some of the plugs and the kind of hard wiring. Oh, I didn't think you did that. Yeah, I think you were watching television. Oh. But yes, <clears throat> so I had to I had to I had to do that. But you're we're quite happy with it, aren't we? Yeah. It works really well quite well. So we, should we show that it actually does work? Yeah. So just leave it in the no, no, leave it this side. Leave it this <clears throat> side. Oh well, we're gonna do it forward. Yeah, well but I thought that, we, way. that way, yeah. If we can um so I've got the uh, control on my phone for the local remote. So if we if we go forward a few times, come on. Why are you not working? There we go. Let's see. Oh, oh, that's backwards. Stop. Oh, we've managed to get the plugs the wrong way round. What? Um, so there we go. Anyway, so it was wired up. So that when I pressed it forward, when I had it forward on here, let go. Let go. When I had it forward on here, um, it was going forward um, I've obviously managed to swap a plug <coughs> over so at some point I'm gonna have to take everything out of the top and swap the plugs over again because now if I press oh. forward well if I press forward it's going backwards <laughs> so I need to um, I need to put it in reverse and press first gear and then it goes forwards but we don't want it to do that do we what? well because <clears throat> we want it to go forwards when we've got forwards on yeah. and it's not doing that so I will have to take it apart and rewire it but <clears throat> Fortunately, that bit is a plug. Um, there's two plugs onto the circuit board, so I can swap those over. Um, I obviously kind of got that wrong. It was working originally when I um, when I first had it all wired up, <clears throat> rather than and not stuffed in the top. Um, but now it's obviously uh, got got the wrong way around. Uh, but we're really happy with this, aren't we? Yeah. Um, so um, we think it came out nice. So the wasp yeah. stripes. Um, now we've got the buffer, the coupling blocks on. Yeah. Look really good, don't they? Um, so, um, and the wasp stripes looks neater because here there was lots of scratchy bits. There were some scratchy, scratchy bits in the middle, weren't there? Um, <coughs> yeah, partly where we'd pulled the the original cupping block off and damaged the wood slightly where the glue had been, <laughs> but partly just because the paint had leaked behind some of the masking tape, hadn't it? So, um, so yeah, so we're not calling it finished yet. So this isn't a, a finished video, a we finished video. Um, we will be um, finding a figure, yeah. painting a figure. Mm -hmm. Maybe weathering it. Maybe weathering it, and then we'll come back uh, and do another, do another video and show it actually running around some track as well. Uh, but for now, um, it's it's at <coughs> least moved on a lot in the last week or so. Um, we also have to, as Toby's just pointed out, we have to tidy up the wheels. I managed to um, get some yellow paint on them, but fortunately, once it's down on the track, you can't see them. Um, it's they're, they're so low down uh, and da in dark under the body, um, so it's not really a problem. But we, we'll we'll try and t tidy that up won't we, a little bit. Yeah, maybe. <coughs> maybe. Um, but we're we're really happy, and uh, hopefully you've enjoyed uh, a little bit more seeing a bit more detail about it. Uh, I think the three D printed parts have worked quite nicely um, to kind of give it a bit more bit more detail. Um, not that there's anything wrong with the the original ones, but just a bit more relief um, helps a, a little bit when you're looking at it from a distance. Um, so yeah, we're really happy with that. And you were really neat with the dial, weren't you? You only had one you had one go at doing the red line, and you got it right. So um, yeah, that was all that was all good. Uh, we also think we might um, do something with these screws, so we might um, either 
use some gun blue or something to blacken them or, or paint them we're not we're not entirely sure yet just to hide them a little bit so it's not quite so obvious that they're kind of full-size screws um, I did wonder actually about gluing the switch to the back uh, and then getting rid of the screws and filling the holes but that would be require more painting and we're not going to do that um, so we'll probably just um, we'll probably just paint them so that they're not quite so quite so obvious but still usable and removable if we need to um, but yeah, so hopefully we'll be back with a finished video, with a, a kind of we finished video uh, when we've figured out a, a character of driver and whether we're going to do any weathering. Uh, but for now, that's pretty much it for the for the for the battery electric loco. We haven't decided what we're going to build yet, have we? Next, no. no. So we don't know whether we're going to do another wagon or another locomotive. What do you fancy? Probably a wagon. You want another wagon? Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll see what we've got. I might actually have another wagon kit in stock somewhere. Of a different type so we'll have to have a look and see if we can find find something uh for another another video for another thing for us to build but for now that's it so uh, thanks and bye bye and we'll see you on another video uh, and just to show that when you have it wired up correctly it does go the right direction uh forwards the in green so that's the one that's selected and if i press first gear It'll start ramming up the speed, and there we go. Um, and then I can go reverse, and it comes backwards. Um, so that's just switching around the wires uh, from the motor that are plugged into the local remote um, control board, um, and off it went. So um, that's now fixed, thankfully. <laughs>